So now back under the streets of Cleveland now. This is just crazy, Russ. I had no idea that this was down there. I've never seen it before, and I'm thrilled that you are there to show it to us tonight. Yeah, yeah Russ I'm is... Going... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, you know, you're down in the abandoned Cleveland subway tunnels. I was just going to remind people, and I agree, Betsy, a lot of people didn't even know these existed. Yep, I'm going down, as Betsy said <laughs> earlier today. And, and and you know what, I, I, Betsy, you're right. I'm guessing the thousands of people who travel above me every mm. day on this bridge have no idea about the maze of, of tracks and tunnels down here. Let's take a quick look at that history and what's here today. Venture below and you'll see Cleveland as you've never seen it before. Not only does the view from the Veterans Memorial Bridge offer a great vantage point of the forest city, but the empty lower deck also opens up a window to the city's past. There used to be four tracks that were uh, separated here along the underside of the bridge. Uh, two lanes going eastbound, two lanes going westbound. Streetcars connecting the city to the west side moved through here. Six stations and pedestrian tunnels as well made this corridor a major hub of transportation. Cleveland subway system dates back to 1917, but progress brought trackless trolleys and buses. And by 1954, the Cleveland transit system shut the streetcars down. Most of what you see here is really the original construction. There was some paths that we needed to put down. There was some asphalt that was placed just to make it safe for our people to walk through here. Self-guided tours held just one day a year let visitors stroll the path of a streetcar as they connect with Cleveland's past. So people have been asking me, what's it like down here? Well, in a word, it's spooky. It is cold, it's clammy, there's water everywhere. It's, it's, it's not a place you, you wanna go party, as I know you, know you guys like to do. But uh, I'm no Betsy Kling, I'm no chief meteorologist, but I'm guessing it's about 20 degrees cooler in here than it is outside. So it's interesting, and, and to my left, actually, is where our homies, the Russo brothers, shot Loki's lair for Avengers 1. So it, it is that kind of spooky. That is so cool, Russ, and subterranean temperatures usually in the 50s, so yeah, you're about right with that. It's definitely feeling chilly down there. Now, how do you get down there? Like, where's the access point? We mentioned the so Soldiers and Sailors Monument, but I mean, I would have to assume Tower City plays a role in here somewhere. Well, actually, no, Tower City, if, if you look at Tower City as the grand central station of Cleveland, this was the crossroads of the world of the subway system. So actually, you come across the Detroit Bridge, you make a right, and then you make another right, and you're here. Now, the thing is, as I told you in that piece, there are going to be tours. Uh, there's going to be one more tour here in June, and you got to pay attention to this because it's the last tour for a while. When I see you again later in the broadcast, I'll tell you how to take advantage of that tour and just some of the cool things you'll see here. So is it kind of spooky? down there Russ what's your what's your vibe at the moment yeah, no, it's 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 definitely it's, it's definitely spooky. Randy, the cameraman has been holding my hand the whole time because I've been <laughs> in, incredibly scared. But Randy's yeah, a good it's, bodyguard. It's, uh, He's, he's a great guy. But yeah, it, it's, it's spooky is a good word. We have lights everywhere, so it's not as spooky. But taking the walk back and forth, uh, uh, you can just in your mind imagine what this must have been like, again, from 1917 to 1954 and the hustle and bustle that was here. Yeah, that man. is so amazing. I kind of wish it was still around. Well, it is Extreme Week, and that is extremely cool. <laughs> and we'll be talking to you in just a little bit about more. Thanks, Russ. All right. See you soon.